For as accurate as the DNA replication process is, sometimes errors do occur. These can occur during the replication process, or they can be due to environmental causes, such as free radicals, ionizing radiation, and carcinogens. Fortunately, the cell has a number of mechanisms by which it can repair certain mutations. Of the four that we'll talk about now, two are particularly important because when they're impaired, they can result in disease. Those two are the nucleotide excision repair system and the mismatch repair system. Respectively, they can result in xeroderma pigmentosum and hereditary non-polyposis colorectal cancer, or HNPCC. The nucleotide excision repair system is best known for correcting thymidine dimers. When a thymidine base is directly adjacent to another thymidine base, ionizing radiation, from the sun for example, can result in dimerization. Instead of interacting with the complementary strand, these two thymidine bases form an aberrant bond. If not corrected, this dimerization can lead to mutation in the next round of replication. The nucleotide excision repair system excises a good chunk of the DNA, chews away the mutation, and replaces it with new base pairs. The average human is bombarded by all sorts of radiation, and thymidine dimers do occur over the lifespan. However, the nucleotide excision repair corrects these, and very few consequential mutations occur. But in xeroderma pigmentosum, the system is impaired and thymidine dimers cannot be corrected. The result is dry skin with melanoma and other cancers. These cancers appear most often in the skin because it is the most exposed to radiation. Patients with this disease have been nicknamed children of the night because they must do their best to avoid the sun. Here's an image of a xeroderma pigmentosum lesion. The base excision repair system is mostly responsible for removing single base mutations. First, glycosylases remove the damaged base. Then an enzyme known as AP endonuclease removes the deoxyribose. Finally, a new base plus sugar is inserted. As its name suggests, the mismatch repair system recognizes mismatched base pairs. For example, A hydrogen bonded to C or G hydrogen bonded to T. Patients with mutations in their mismatch repair system are at risk for hereditary non-polyposis colorectal cancer. Finally, the last mechanism of DNA repair is known as non-homologous end joining. This is sort of a salvage pathway. When a DNA double helix breaks into two, which can occur with exposure to free radicals ionizing radiation, or during replication when topoisomerases are not functioning properly, the DNA can actually break. The non-homologous end joining system recognizes these breaks and essentially tries to put the DNA back together.